G'day viewers, welcome to another super cool pinball repair video from the goat shed down under here in Australia. So today is Monday, February 13th, 2023. And outside it's 22 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you on the other side of the world. Now, today we're going to show you a, what I'd consider an unusual problem we discovered when we were repairing an abracadabra stepper unit. Actually, it was the ball count unit, not that it matters, because all the Gottlieb step units are the same except for the amount of parts they've got on, depending on whether they're a subtract stepper or a single step stepper. It, they're all the same frame. Now, just before we talk to you about this problem, just another reminder to please remember to give us the big thumbs up on our videos and we would greatly appreciate you subscribing to our channel. After all, we take the time to do these videos for you and we would appreciate your support. Now all that said and done, this is hopefully only going to be a fairly short video. I, I originally was not going to do it and I thought over the weekend, well, maybe we should because I've struck this once before. So that's only about twice in eight years, but it can happen and it may cause some frustration for people. Now what the problem was, was, was the stepper, was when we put the escapement wheel into the step unit like that, it should literally fall in there and spin relatively freely. What was happening on the one on the abracadabra, when I removed the escapement wheel, I noticed that this part of it was highly polished. I mean, you can see this one hasn't, this isn't the same step unit, of course. And I wondered why it was highly polished. And I did notice it was a little tight to pull out it. You said I went to pull it out and it was, oh, oh it's a bit bitey. But it eventually came out. And I thought, oh, well, the bearings probably got dirt on it. But when I, dirt in it. But when I uh, looked at this and saw it was highly polished, I thought that's unusual. Anyway, the frame and everything went into the ultrasonic cleaner and away it went. Now, when we were reassembling the step unit, what I noticed was when I popped that in there, and I got down to about there, it got really tight and I had to really push it in. You know, now you shouldn't have to do that. And I wondered, what's the matter with this? And what I discovered was something to do with the bearing. Now, the nylon shaft bearing is this one here. That's it from one side and this is it from the other. Now that's part number D-16274. Now I have had one of those split some time ago and I sort of thought maybe that's the problem with this one. But it, it, no, it wasn't. Now I'm going to show you what the problem was and I, I missed it first and I'd forgotten I'd had the problem before. So all we need is a quarter inch nut driver to undo these two nuts here. Let's undo them very quickly. Right, so we've undone those two nuts and this just pulls out like that. Okay, there's the, there's the bearing. Remember, this isn't the one that was in question, so it's not very clean. But what I noticed when I pulled the other one out and I put everything in, it was all free. I thought, oh, that's weird. It'll work, go in and out just like it's meant to, to do. Oh, either way, doesn't matter. Very interesting. So, what the problem I discovered was, was this. You can see in here, that's two parts. The back part is the frame and the front part is this zero stop unit. 
What the problem was, was that the zero stop unit, or zero stop assembly, had been altered. So if we loosen this slightly, and we, oh, that went a bit far than my liking, but I should be able to illustrate this like that. You can see now that we've got a shiny bit in there and that's not perfectly lined up. So when this went in from the back, it'll go in. So I can get it in without turning it around. See how good I am. Whoops, wrong way. Oh, just having a bit of trouble getting it in. Never goes right when you want it to. All right. Let's just do that, get it in a bit. What was happening, because that was misadjusted, the bearings back in, like that, those, you've got to get those two little pins in there. What this one was doing, if I can just show you, because that was misadjusted, when the shaft went in, it was squeezing against it and making it really tight so does everyone understand what that was so take that bearing out again just remove it we just simulate that we'll push that over there like that i'll just try and tighten that up a little bit there see if we can get this to to emulate what the problem was only a bit we'll put this in like such. Yeah, I can't get this one to go in. The other one had been squeezed so much, but you can see there that that's all offset. So it doesn't want to go in because that's hitting the edge. Now I could really, I could probably get a hammer and tap that in. So that possibly could have been done from the factory. And the inside of the bearing was all scored and everything. So all I had to do to fix that was loosen the screw, the zero stop position screw, just marginally, move that bearing, turn it round, pop it all back together, pop it in, like that, and then tighten that up. But the idea of this zero stop, once the bearing's in position, which this one is now, that zero arm will pivot on the bearing you see like that now you need to readjust the zero stop position which we've done videos on before but I'll just lightly touch on that we probably best to screw this back in too while we've got it here as I said fairly short video maybe a little boring and maybe maybe overstating the obvious to some people but there's probably people out there that that don't really have a lot of mechanical skills and this sort of information hopefully is going to be on the internet forever or on youtube and it'll help someone someday that's the whole idea of it so we put that back in there and it's free as a bird okay so that's what it was and look just one other thing while i've got this here on these escapement wheels, everyone can see the cutaway here. No, there's no tooth broken or missing. That's to stop the, the step unit from being able to step up any further. The drive pull, so it can't go any further. That's what that cutout's for. All right, like I said, only a brief video. Hope that helps you. Spanky thought it would. And without further ado, this has been another Goat Shed presentation. <laughs>